kids' educational games. Whether we're fitting books in a backpack, choosing a lid for a cup, or painting a room, we're always estimating areas and distances. We don't always have tools like rulers handy, so it can be much more convenient to estimate. We also have to estimate sometimes in school. You may see the example question above on a criterion-based test. Before we start tackling this test question, let's look at how a problem like this one might come up in the real world. Let's say your school has changed the school colors. You've volunteered to repaint the school emblem in the lobby. The total area of the lobby wall is 24 square yards. You have a limited budget, so you can't afford to buy surplus paint. One quart of paint is enough to cover four square yards of wall. How many quarts of paint will you need to paint the school emblem? To find out how much paint we'll need, we have to know the emblem's area. But we can't measure the area of the emblem because we don't have enough information, such as the emblem's diameter. So we have to estimate. Let's start by gathering all the information we do have. What do we know for sure? We do know the area of the wall. How can we use that information to estimate the area of the emblem? For starters, we can compare the size of the area we know, the wall, to the size of the area we're estimating, the emblem. Which of the following statements is true? A. The area of the emblem and the area of the lobby wall are about the same. B. The lobby wall is ten times larger than the emblem. C. The emblem is larger than the lobby wall. D. The emblem is smaller than the lobby wall. D. The emblem is smaller than the lobby wall. That's right. The emblem is obviously smaller than the lobby wall, so it must be less than 24 square yards. But how much less? Let's take a closer look at the relationship between the emblems and the wall's area. About how many emblems could you fit on the wall? 2, 4, 10, 20. 2. That's right. Now that we've estimated that we can fit about two emblems on the wall, what's the most reasonable estimation of the emblem's area? 24 square yards, 12 square yards, 2 square yards. One square yards. Twelve square yards. Good. Even if you can't say for sure that the emblem is exactly half the size of the wall, clearly it's not the same size as the wall, nor is it significantly smaller. So you can eliminate the other options. With this new information, how many cans of paint will you need to repaint the emblem? One quart. Three quarts. Six quarts. Three quarts. Very good. With three quarts of paint, you will be able to cover 12 square yards, which is the area we estimated for the emblem. One quart would cover far too little, and six quarts would cover the entire wall. In this example, we were able to compare the area of the emblem to a quantity we knew, the area of the wall. But sometimes, we have to estimate a distance or angle when we don't have anything on hand we can use for comparison. When we don't have anything on hand to use for comparison, we have to use our imagination and compare the thing we're estimating to something from our memory. Look at this problem, for example. We have to estimate the size of an angle. We can only compare this angle with angle measurements in our memory. One angle that's pretty easy to remember is the 90 degree angle. You probably already know what one looks like. Which of the angles above is 90 degrees? B. That's it. To help you remember other angles, rotate the red line to create your own. You can read the angle's measurement above. Go ahead and try it out. 45 degrees, 90 degrees, 135 degrees, 180 degrees, 
225 degrees 270 degrees 315 degrees Let's try estimating the first angle we looked at. Keep imagining the 90 degree angle. Is this angle more or less than 90 degrees? Less. Good. Right off the bat, we can eliminate the two answer choices that are greater than 90 degrees. Now, is our angle closer to 90 degrees or 0 degrees? Closer to 90 degrees. Very good. Since the angle is more than halfway to 90 degrees, what is the best estimate of our angle? Sixty degrees. That's it. First, try comparing the size of the object you are estimating to the measurement of an object you already know. Second, don't worry about finding the exact measurement. Just make the best estimation you can. Third, when taking tests, rule out the unrealistic answers to find the best estimate. In the following 10 exercises, you'll practice the skills you've just learned about estimating lengths, areas, and angles. Number 1. What is the best estimate for this angle? 170 degrees, 135 degrees, 90 degrees, 75 degrees. 135 degrees. Very good. The angle is halfway between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. So the best estimate is 135 degrees. Number 2. The length of the popsicle from tip to tip is 8 inches. What is the length of the cherry section? 8 inches, 4 inches, 2 inches, 1 inch. 2 inches. That's it. You estimate the cherry section is a fourth the size of the whole popsicle. A fourth of eight is two. Number three. What is the best estimate for this angle? Forty degrees, seventy-five degrees, ninety degrees, one hundred and twenty degrees. Forty degrees. Very good. Remember the ninety degree angle. This angle is about half of the 90 degree angle. Half of 90 is 45. So the best estimate from the available answer choices is 40 degrees. Number 4. Which of the three options has an equal or larger area than the rectangle? C. That's right. You can use the grid to help estimate the areas of the figure. You can count 24 squares in the rectangle. Neither shape A nor B contains 24 squares. You can, however, count at least 24 squares in shape C. Number 5. Given that the basketball goal is 10 feet high, how high would you estimate the gym ceiling to be? 90 feet, 60 feet, 30 feet, 10 feet. 30 feet. That's it. You estimate that the ceiling is about three times higher than the basketball goal. So the ceiling must be about 30 feet high. Number six. You'd like to get new grass for your yard. You know the surface area of your pool is 18 square yards. What is the best estimate for the number of square yards of grass you'll need? Six square yards. 18 square yards. 35 square yards. 36 square yards. 18 square yards. Very good. First, you can rule out that the grassy area is 6 square yards, which is just a third of the area of the swimming pool. Then you can rule out the last two answers, 35 and 36, since they are both about double the size of the pool. 
The grassy area is about the same size as the pool, so the best estimate is 18 square yards. Number 7. The telescope above is pointed at Venus. At what angle above the horizon is the telescope directed? 15 degrees, 45 degrees, 75 degrees, 105 degrees. 15 degrees. That's correct. Start by thinking of a 90 degree angle. Imagine an angle half that size. It would be 45 degrees. The angle the telescope is pointed at is less than 45 degrees, so it must be 15 degrees. Number 8. The area of the rectangle above is 18 square centimeters. What's the area of the triangle? 18 square centimeters, 17.5 square centimeters, 9 square centimeters, 4.5 square centimeters. 4.5 square centimeters. Good job. It looks like you can fit four of those triangles into the rectangle. So the area of the triangle must be about a fourth of the area of the rectangle. Half of the rectangle's area is 9 square centimeters. So the area of the triangle must be less than that. The only realistic answer choice is 4.5 square centimeters. Number 9. Ian knows that the distance from Mendham to Peapack is 15 miles. What is the best estimate for the distance of the scale on the map? 15 miles, 5 miles, 3 miles, 1 mile. Three miles. That's it. First you estimate the size of the scale to be about a fifth the distance between Mendham and Peapack. The scale must represent a fifth of 15 miles, which is 3 miles. Also, you can rule out the possibility that the scale represents either 15 miles or 1 mile to make your decision easier. Number 10. What is the best estimate for the distance from Mendham to Far Hills? 23 miles, 15 miles. 10 miles, 30 miles, 23 miles. Very good. Knowing the distance from Mendham to Peapack to be 15 miles, you estimated that the distance to Far Hills was farther, but not twice that distance. So the only reasonable estimate available is 23 miles. Congratulations, you've completed the estimation module.